18, what's one of the biggest terrors of retirement? I think that has to be, are we going to run out of money? Oh, I thought it was uh, living closely to your, <laughs> to your wife. What? No. No. So what did we do to try and ensure that we wouldn't run out of money in retirement? Well, one of the things we did was because we both wanted to travel when we retired, we decided we needed to set a budget to take care of this. So at the time, uh, Norm was 60 and I was 58. So we thought if we have a 10 year allowance of traveling, we needed to allow ourselves. We worked out that we would take 25,000 a year times the 10 year that it could potentially out of our budget cost us 250000 for our travelling for 10 years, wasn't it, Norm? Yeah, we don't know what health uh, issues might crop up to us, so we were giving ourselves a 10-year window that would mm -hmm. put me to 70 years old. Yeah. And we both agreed to around the 25,000 mark, but that wasn't set in stone. It, it, if we only spent 15, that would be fine if it, if it met our yeah. ambitions for travel. Yeah. So back then we were using cruise ships. We used to enjoy doing cruises. It would get us to multiple countries. It was good for our business because I could take photographs and videos and then license those clips and photographs so it helped pay for the trips but we realized that in winter time we would want to spend two or three months away from the Canadian cold so we came up with this 25,000 so how are we doing against that well actually <laughs> the funny thing is when we we keep doing a budget every now and then to sort of add up everything and we're actually growing our money instead of what we thought the pot was going to be going down right. the pot's going up isn't it Norm? And we do we do these reconciliations of our net worth uh, a couple of times a year just for peace of mind because mm -hmm. there's that nagging fear in the back of your mind that you're spending your money and you're running out of money so we took I think we've said this in other videos we divided our capital in half, invested half of it in dividend paying stocks, some US, some Canadian, primarily through the TFSA so it grows tax free and we max that out. The rest is in cash just for a really good rainy day fund. Mm -hmm. So for example we kind of, to let people know if they say had a chunk of money of like 250,000 if you were getting um, what we said about four to five percent, that would probably yeah. generate maybe about 10,000 a year that would be topping up your money. But one thing that we, I, I would say probably underestimated was we weren't looking at how the government money would come in to top it all up. So That's we, right, because <laughs> we, this was pre yeah. us being old enough to get yeah. the Canadian CPP or what and the US would call social uh, security. Yeah, and the OAS. We hadn't really factored that in, had we? And we, we did underestimate what impact that would have on our income coming mm -hmm. in. And so we're able to get around two, 2,000 to 2,300 in schemes like that from the government, which helps enormously. So we don't have to touch that capital. It's great, isn't it? So instead of it going down, it's actually going up. The other thing to realize is with dividend paying stocks is that nearly everybody thinks about the dividend. And, and that's partly why we're doing it. We want yeah. that 5% or 4% um, quarterly uh, deposit into our account. But don't underestimate how dividend stocks have been growing over this last 15 to 20 years. Many of ours have trebled or quadrupled in value as well as the dividend. Yes, yeah, so the actual stocks earning this money as well as the dividend. It really it? is. Yeah. So what we're advising you is if you are unsure as to whether you have enough money for retirement, 
explore what the government pension programs are, the old age pensions in your country. See if you can uh, find out what you're going to be getting at a certain age, 65, 67, and then use that in your budget. Mm -hmm. But don't be afraid to spend money and enjoy it no. while you have your health and mobility. That's the thing, the message that we really want to say. Yeah, I, th I think so, isn't it? It's really important to enjoy it because we didn't know at the time, did we? We happily made our budget knowing that we would allow for that. And now it's a really pleasant surprise, isn't it? <laughs> and, and of course, with the circumstances for the last 18 yeah. months, we haven't been able to travel internationally. So we've used part of that money to acquire the trailer and the car. Yes. So. It, that really hasn't blown the budget at all. In fact, it's, it's under the budget that we've set. Yeah, and now they're becoming assets, aren't they? So now we've they got are. assets in our life too. Well, obviously the car is depreciating in value, but the trailer, because it's on a exclusive site, um, it, it's actually worth double what we paid for it. <laughs> it's just great, isn't it? It really is. So we are saying don't be afraid to enjoy your life and, you know, the money kind of will almost take care of itself, won't it? It, it will. Just, we run our life slightly frugally. A difficult <laughs> word to There's say. That word again, no. <laughs> um, so we don't line up at the Apple store to get the latest iPhone or the biggest uh, screen TV that comes out. We're content with what we have. And I think if you can do that, you that's can. the recipe for your money to last longer in it retirement. Is. It is, isn't it? So, to answer that question, no, no. our money isn't running out in retirement. No. And we should still have enough left if we wish to leave a legacy um, to our family, then it'll be there. But the power of compounding interest, dividends, and growth stocks, it's, it's surprising. Yeah, should be able to keep us going till we're both in our 90s, hey Norm? <laughs> <laughs> Certainly you teen, I, I probably won't get there. You've worn me out. Oh dear, we hope so. <laughs> well, we're just enjoying getting older together, aren't we? And it's great. So thanks for watching. We really appreciate the support that we're receiving from all of our viewers. Absolutely, and we hope everybody is keeping well. Staying safe. Till the next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.